Good afternoon. I want to just um, comment and report on an article that was in the paper about just how safe our little town is. Early morning prowler spotted in New Baltimore. New Baltimore police have released a photograph of a prowler who was spotted in the early morning hours of September 2nd looking into a house and car before being frightened off. The incident happened about 4.20 a.m. on Washington Street near Will Lee Street. Lieutenant Eric Stiles said in a news release, the intruder was observed on a security video peering into a resident on Washington Street. He was also seen using a flashlight to illuminate the, a vehicle's interior. When a homeowner was alerted by the motion alarm and spotted the stranger looking through a window into a home, the suspect ran away, police said. The subject was wearing a hoodie and gloves. Anybody who recognizes a stranger is asked to contact the New Baltimore Police. Gets better. It's even closer to home. Police investigate a pair of home invasions. New Baltimore Police are investigating a pair of home invasions reported in the city of September 5th. At about 4 a.m., police responded to a report of a home invasion on Alfred Street near Atwood Street. The caller told police a subject had forced entry at a rear door wall and entered the residence. The subject stole a purse from the home and fled on foot to a nearby bicycle. A police canine was called in, but lost the scent shortly after a set of bicycle tire tracks were located. Shortly before 8 a.m., officers responded to a report of a home invasion that had just been discovered in the 52900 block of Washington Street. Police said the caller told police the subject gained entry into the home sometime during the night or early morning hours by pulling out and damaging a window screen. A purse that was left near that window was reported stolen. Police could not determine which direction the suspect went afterwards. <laughs> this is one of the reasons that I am pro Second Amendment. It's scary that they actually accessed the house and all they did was steal a purse and nothing worse happened. The police don't always respond as quickly as you would like them to. It's not that they don't want to, it's just literally things happen in a matter of a blink. So be armed, be diligent. And it's sad that we have to invest money in security companies in order to protect our property. And that doesn't always work. I would rather sometimes even get a pit bull. Actually, I would rather be armed. So, yes, that is really hitting way too close to home for me. And I just... You know, I've lived in this town for many, 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 many years. And it's sad to see it growing. And I know, I, I think, with any town, when it decides that it wants to grow and bring people in and make money, you're going to get, you're going to get this. You're going to get, you're going to get these kind of stories. And it's sad. And I could see where it actually makes people want to move. Not that any place is 100% safe, but it makes you want to move to a safer place, if possible. So, anyway, that's all I have to say. I thought that was very interesting, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Just something short and sweet and different.
Bye. Be safe. Be diligent. <laughs>